I'll just tell you, I want to ask you a question. One of the biggest wealth building tools in the history of the world is the United States stock market. S&P 500, Dow Jones Industrial Average. Anybody here ever like studied the stock market or thought about investing? A few of you guys? Yeah, I, I know that's the bond I haven't looked into books. it at all. What's but that? I've thought about it, but I haven't invested yeah. any time into it. That's okay, yeah. That's okay, that's pretty pretty normal. I don't even think you can actually have your own investments until you're 18. Um, um, unless unless you have a parent That's right, that's right, that's right. So here, here's what's crazy about the S&P 500, okay? Throughout the last, oh, I don't know, 50, 60, 70 years, it has averaged about a 12% return year over year. It's averaged about a 12% return. Does that sound right to you, Esteban, based on the books you've read? Yeah. About 12%. So here's, here's this is like a hard, like, business tip here, okay? I learned this from the CFO at Coke Industries. He's made a few billion over his years for the company and a few million for himself. Um, here's the rule he taught me. He taught me the rule of 72, right? Write it Six down. Years. The rule of 72 is what, Esteban? Six years until uh, your money back. That's uh, right. So, so here's what you do. When you put your money in an investment, it grows. So here's what happens. You put 100 bucks in, you get 6% interest, you've got $106, right? And then you put it in for another year, it's not just $106, it's, a, it's, it's, the, it's the 6% on the 6%, okay? So you get like 660 from that and you, it, 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 it continues to grow. 100 bucks doesn't seem like a lot, but when you start getting more money, it does. So here's, here's the rule of 72. You take your expected return of, your, your rate of return. You go 72 divided by your rate of return, and that will tell you how many years it takes for your money to double, okay? So 12% has been the average stock market return. Um, so how many years will it take for your money to double at a 12% return? Six years. That's 72 divided by 12 is six years. Now, 12% is a pretty aggressive return, okay? That's all over the long term. What do you guys think would be like a more realistic short-term re re return expectation? Four, five, six, seven, something like that, yeah. Yeah, so let, let's, say, let's, say, let's say 5%. So somebody tell, tell me, if you invested your money at a 5% return, how long would it take to double? 14 years. What's that? 14. 14 years, that sounds right. We double check. 14 and a half ish. Okay. So 14 years. Okay, so let, let's do a little bit of math here. Okay. Um, who's 15? Anybody 15? 15? 14 still. Okay, we're going to say 15. Okay. Um, what, do you think is a, what do you think is a realistic amount that a high school student could save? A couple grand. A couple Three, grand? Four grand. Yeah, four grand. Let's say four grand, okay? You, you, you save four grand, and let's say when you turn 18, you put that four grand into the stock market, okay? And you guys know how it goes. It goes up and down. It goes way down, and then it goes way up. So, you know, long-term thinking. You put four grand in the, into the stock market. Do you think, realistically, you could put four grand in every year? No. Is that, that's probably a little high. Yeah. Every, it's how, probably how, a little high. Yeah? Okay. Well, let's, let's say you put four grand in. And let's say you never put anything else in, okay? Never put anything else in. Uh, and we get that 12%, that's six years. So after six years, how much do you have? Eight. Eight grand. After six more years, what do you have? Sixteen. Okay. So now we're getting pretty close to, let's go six more years. $32,000. That's about the time when you're going to start having kids. So you could spend four thousand dollars now on I don't know what do people spend four grand on? All my buy new cars. A nicer car, <laughs> right? Cars depreciate so fast. Seriously, right? You're like I got a new car, and I was like, what? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you, have, you already have one. Because you can do math. Right. Like there's a lot of stuff in school that doesn't really matter. Math is one of those things. If you want to be successful, you got to know how to do math. All right. Kai says, hey, you buy a you buy an extra four thousand dollars on your car, it goes down in value. That's not, that's not a good thing, okay? Or you could say delayed gratification, 15 years from now, that's $32,000. That could buy a lot for a kid. That could buy a lot for your family, okay? That could make it so your wife doesn't have to work 
she could be a full time mom. Like that's a lot. Of, that that thirty two thousand dollars could it could could bring you a lot of money. Okay, but let's keep going. So six more years. How much is it? Sixty four thousand. So how many years are we at so far? Is that twenty four years? So that's four four doubles, right? Eight, sixteen, five. 32, so yeah, so that's been 24 years. Here's the deal, 64,000 times two is 128,000. So do, do the math with me, so we are we are 24, so that now we're 40 years old and we got $128,000. At 46, you got, two, you got 250,000. At 52, you got a half a million. At 60 years old, you're a million. Can you imagine that? $4,000 when you're 18 years old, and you don't put any more in. You're a millionaire when you're 60 years old. And 60 is not that old. My dad's 60. I mean, he's kind of old, but I didn't, I mean, he's, there's a lot of fun things you can do with a million dollars when you're 60 years old, okay? There's a lot of fun things you can do with a million dollars. So here, here's the lesson here, guys. Here's the lesson. We see it in money that there is benefits to delayed gratification, okay? But money is not all that great. I mean, money's go make some money, save it, invest, it, great. But what the, the principle here is the same thing works with good decisions. The friends you, you choose, the person you marry, the person you date, which could be the person you marry, okay? The, the friends you hang out with, the church you choose to join, the school you choose to go to, the way you spend your time, even more so affects your future. Okay, so that, that's the lesson there. We're gonna, we're gonna shift from a little bit of that personal development piece. We're gonna shift back to our business today. Okay, business today. One of the things that um, we've shared a quick video about recently is one of the best ways to grow your business is through word of mouth. Am I right? Word of mouth. But nobody really thinks about what it takes to actually get a word of mouth referral. Okay? Um, Colton, you got any referrals recently? Yes. How do you get them? Uh, by doing a good job. By doing a good job. Yeah. How many referrals have you gotten recently? Uh, recently? Yeah. I like think th this year. Oh, this year. Uh -huh. um, three. Of course, that's. I don't have a ton of lawn, so it's not. It's a. Good it's great percent. that you got three referrals. You just did a good job. Okay. I'm gonna expand on that a second. Three things to win with customers. Okay. Show up on time. Do a good job. Be nice. It's pretty simple. Am I right? You guys, have been, you guys have been there. You've seen it. Show up when you say you're going to show up. Do a good job and be nice. People just give money to high school students. That's called scholarships. Okay? When you actually show up, do a good job, and be nice. Mario had a customer give him $500 cash as a graduation gift because he was so nice. He just liked him. He trusted him. I've got two friends. Who had a customer? Now it, it pays to have rich customers. <laughs> I had a. I've got two friends who are doctors, and their customers. One of them actually paid for their medical school. Their kids didn't treat them well. Kids didn't treat them well, and they had this sweet lawn boy named Rich, who got rich because he was a sweet lawn boy. All right, that's all he did. Showed up. He did a good job. He was nice, and this old lady paid for his medical school just because he was nice. Just because he did a good job. He was trustworthy. Another buddy of mine had a, had a similar story. He didn't get it all paid for. He had to hustle for a lot of it. So that's, that's an example. Do a good job. Show up on time. Be nice. All right? But what if you could, like, pour gasoline on that strategy? What if you could pour gasoline on the whole idea? What if you could blow up your referrals? Here's one simple tip. Provide not only good service, good customer communication, all the rest, but do it in a remarkable way. Okay. Let's break down the word remarkable. What does the word remarkable mean? Make your mark again. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's a good guess. It's a good guess. It means amazing. Good. What else? Okay. Outstanding. Impressive. Awesome. Impressive. Any synonym of amazing? Uh -huh. Impressive. Yeah. Of, of being. I feel like they'd want to talk about it again. Ooh. In 
Interesting. Ethan? Something that makes you remark later on. Bingo, baby! I mean, all of those are true. But think about this, the word remarkable. It makes people remark. It makes people talk about it later. Okay? I'll give you a simple example. Okay? There was um, a family that had an autistic child come into an Applebee's. Okay? And they showed up, this autistic child, ordered a hamburger, and... The, 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 the server brought them a hamburger. It was cut in half, just like always. And this, this, this child, who, this child is like 17, 18, but autistic, so more like a five-year-old in some ways, um, just was so upset because she got a broken hamburger. It's a broken hamburger. It's a broken, I, I don't want that. It's a broken hamburger. This guy's like, it's not broken. It's cut in half. You know what that server did? She said, oh, sweetheart, I am so sorry. We'll go back to the kitchen and we'll get you a hamburger that's not broken. Okay? And then what this what the parents did, so they, they just did that out of the kindness of their heart. Then their parents remarked about it on social media. And that brought thousands and thousands of dollars. Like people, it went viral on social media because this person did something remarkable. That same thing could happen to you. So I want to I want to brainstorm a little bit. What are some ways that you could provide remarkable customer service to the people you have today? 